13 Wolf Radio. Today is today's the 31 Days of Horror. Day 10. That's right. We're one third of the way through the holiday already. Uh, or the month already. My God. This month flies by when I do these. I, I Every year I do it and every year I, I think how fast the month goes by because I'm involved with the 31 Days of Challenge. You know. And there's a lot of cool people doing this stuff out there. But before we get started, I'm going to ask you to do something. Like, subscribe, share, and comment. When you do subscribe, ring and bing that bell. That way you know whenever I'm putting something new up. And when you do comment, please do, because I always want to know what you have to read, what you have to say about the movies that I'm talking about. Um, today, we're going to go a little... It's a little different, you know. Um, it's 2006, and... It's directed by a guy that started out as an actor. See, that's the thing. It's like, you, you, when we watch these movies, you know, if you're a Scorsese or, or John Ford or someone like that, you th a lot of them are just like, hey, I want to be a director. You know? I'm going to go to school. I'm going to learn how to direct a movie. I'm going to learn how to make a movie. I, that's it. I want to be a director. Then there's other people are like, hey, guess what? I want to be an actor. I want to go to school, I want to learn how to act, I want to become an actor, I want to, I want to work on Broadway, I want to work in Hollywood, I want to do, I want to act, you know. And, and the writers are the same thing, they're like, oh, I want to, I want to write, I want to, I want to tell stories that no one's told, I want to dig from the inner depths of my soul and put it up there on the screen or out there on the stage. And that works. But then there's those other people that are... You know what? I've been a writer long enough. I want to see what's like to direct. Same thing with actors, you know. And there's a lot of actors that become directors and very successful ones. And the guy that directed this movie in 2006 started out as an actor. In fact, I'm pretty sure all you little horror freaks out there have seen the movie Christine. The guy that plays Arnie Cunningham's best friend, John Stockwell, is an is a director nowadays. He directed Into the Blue with Paul Walker, Jessica Alba, and Scott Kahn. And knows how to shoot water scenes beautifully. That whole movie is shot beautifully. And then uh, then he made this. He made another one where it takes place over in like paradise. You know, there's water scenes and he shoots them beautifully. And it's called Teristas. John Stockwell is actually in this movie. He's one of the... He, he's, uh, he's one of the... He's the male... But the male uh, back uh, hitchhiker, uh, not hitchhiker, just the male hiker. There's a female, female male hiker, and he's the male hiker um, in one of the scenes. But basically, these these people that are like met and bonded on this bus trip in Brazil wind up getting drugged and robbed, and when they find out what's go what's kind of going on, someone's like, "Hey, I know a place I could take you. You know, it'd be safe there." He takes him to this place, and this is like the wrong place. It's just like taking, you know, that's like taking a criminal to a warden's house, basically. Going, guess what? I know a safe place for you to hide out. He's the warden of the prison. Oh, don't tell him that. But yeah, you know, it's it's kind of like the same same idea. It's like they wind up taking him to the one place they don't want to be. And this movie is really all about organ harvesting. It's a really cool movie. It's it's shot... A lot of it is shot beautifully. A lot of the underwater scenes are shot beautifully. But... And here's where... Here's where the little annoyance comes in. There's a lot of scenes that are shot at night in the jungle. And it's raining. And some of those scenes are like really hard to tell what re what's really going on. You know... There's this trend that's going on in Hollywood where like, well, I want to use natural lighting. I don't want to over I don't want to over light the the night scenes. You know, there's a lot of people that that pick on like Friday the 13th, the series, the 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 franchise. You know, like can we have light it is out at, at night, you know? It's, it's like midnight and they're like and you can see what's going that's because they want to show you what's going on. They don't want to show you like pitch no one wants to sit there and look at pitch black you know, for 45 minutes. And so they light it in a way to where it looks like moonlight. This was all, 
jungle. And the jungle was, you know, overgrown, and there's nowhere for, like, moonlight to seep through. Um, so they needed, I, honestly, I think they should have they should have lit this a little bit better. Because, like I said, there's these scenes that are happening, just kind of like going, eh. And when those scenes happen, you're just kind of like a little bored, because not quite sure what's going on. Other than that, the movie itself is, is well done. It's got Josh Demel, who really has, I, in my opinion, he's talented as an actor, but he hasn't really taken off. I mean, he's had a few shows here and there, but I don't know. Olivia Wilde is in this, and, um, oh, I'm Melissa George, Melissa, not Melissa George, it's, uh, Yes, yeah, Melissa George. I was, gonna, I was thinking Melissa Leo, but it's Melissa George. Um, she's in this too, and it's a, it's a cool idea. I watched the unrated version. There's two versions. It's a flipper disc. God help us all. You know, just can't stand flipper discs. Uh, the cover looks cool, but this cover really has very, very little to do with. I mean, you see them on the beach. You see them in Brazil, on the beach, having a good time. I don't remember at any time seeing a person in a hammock. You know? it. I would like to see an alternate cover that actually represents the movie, as long as it's not floating heads. You know? Uh, like I said, this it's a fun movie. It's a good movie. John Stockwell is a really good director. Uh, is, the water scenes are shot beautifully. The, there's a lot of underwater stuff that's shot beautifully. I think his hobby is under is like scuba diving, so he's like he knows what he wants there. But there's just these few dark spots, man. That's what I watched for day ten of thirty one days of Halloween, our horror. Thirty one days of horror. Keep saying Halloween. So that's it. That's all I have to say about it. I mean, I want to know what you guys have to say. So again, comment. And uh, as always, I am the Thirteenth Wolfman. And I'm on the prowl.